Hi everyone and thank you so much for watching this video. So today we're going to be talking about um, brush sets um, for beginners. I'm here today to talk to you about a brand that you might not have thought about um, that a lot of beauty gurus or people on YouTube don't mention and that's the e.l.f. brushes. Um, the e.l.f. brushes usually run you about $3 a brush. I find that they're really affordable. Um, if you go to eyeslipsface.com I actually got this kit here of brushes and I'm going to basically just show you and talk to you a little bit about each brush that I have in this kit. Um, this is the brush set that I have here and I think it came with 11 brushes. I'm not really sure. I've definitely added to my collection since I've had these brushes. And um, basically all on this side is all your face brushes and then all on this side is your eye brushes. Um, that you could use. You don't have to use them like that. They're interchangeable brushes. Um, this is the complexion brush here and this is by e.l.f. and basically I use this complexion brush for just putting on my powder after I have my foundation on. It's a nice brush really a fluffy brush. It feels really good against the skin. This is one of the brushes that I would say that if you um, do wear a setting powder for your foundation and basically what a setting powder is is it just sets your foundation. So um, after you put your foundation on it can still look a little oily or whatever or it can still look a little dewy on the skin. If you set it with a powder it tends to last longer and your t-zone doesn't look as oily. So that's what you use that brush for. The next brush that I have is the e.l.f. powder brush. Now I actually use this powder brush as my foundation brush and um, my brushes are a little bit damp so that's probably you know why they kind of look a little dip funny to you if they're really really shaped. Um, but this is the one that I use for my foundation brush because I find that it just packs on that foundation really really well and this brush is wet by the way and it's just one of those brushes that is it's flat top like that so the good thing about having a flat top brush like this is you can actually you can um, stipple on your makeup and then you can blend it out really good and get you a nice airbrush finish so that's what I use this brush for this is one of the brushes that you will hear a lot about on YouTube because it's that good and most um, people do use that brush Another brush that I have is the angled foundation brush and I just use this one for basically um, contouring my face. I don't use it for foundation. Um, so like when I'm contouring up in you know my jawline or whatever to make it look more defined I will tend to use this brush or when I'm going underneath here to hide any double chin or whatever I again I would tend to use this brush and that's the angled foundation brush. The next brush I have is my blush brush by e.l.f. Um, that's what it looks like. I like this brush because it's really good for just hitting right at the apples of your cheek. It's for putting on your blush, of course. Then you have your concealer brush. And it looks like that. I tend to use this brush sometimes for eyeshadow because it's, it's dense enough to use it for eyeshadow. Um, but it is a conceal a brush so you can definitely get underneath that eye area really well with that brush. Now on the back we have all of our eye brushes and some of these like I said I've added brushes in but I know that the kit is on eye slips face and I got mine when it was half price. I think it's a $30 kit and I think I paid like maybe $15 for it. So it's a really nice kit. The first brush I'm going to talk to you about is the angled contour brush. Now um and it, it is angled like that. And some people, you know, when everyone talks about like getting in the crease, they would talk about using this brush. This is an okay brush for that. I don't really, um, of all my brushes in my collection, this is one that I don't tend to use really often. Um, only thing I really use this brush for is like if I find out that I have a harsh contouring line, I'll just take this brush to, and use it to soften that line. That's the only real purpose I have for that brush. Um, the next one is a small smudge brush. And again, I think this is one of those brushes that is really good that you can actually use to get into the inner V of your eye to place highlighter. I think this would be a good one for that. Or you could just use one like for spot concealing underneath the eye area. So that would be a good brush for that as well. Then the next brush I have is a contour brush. And of course, this is what I use in the crease area. It's a really nice brush, so it's really defined. And it can really, as you can see, it can really get into that crease. 
That's why I like that brush. This is my eyeshadow C brush. Sometimes I just use my fingers when I put on my um, eyeshadows. Yes, it's not the most sanitary thing to do, but if they're your personal eyeshadows and you're not using them for like a kit, then I would say that that's absolutely fine to use. Um, to do it like that, you know, because you know, just make sure you have clean hands or whatever. And of course, you know, if you're putting makeup on, more than likely your hands are going to be clean. So, um, this is just a great brush, I think, for just really just getting in there and just really packing on color. And when I want to work really fast and pack on color, I want to make my color really bold. I will tend to use this brush. The next brush I have is a fan brush. I've heard people say this brush is good for like putting on a highlighter or um. That's what it looks like for putting on highlighter, for dusting like bronzer on the face. I don't use the brush really for either one of those purposes. Um, the only thing I use my fan brush for is if I'm doing my eyes and I get fallout, I just take this brush and kind of swipe it away. And that's the only thing that I tend to use it for is actually just to swipe any eyeshadow away. Um, you know, I suppose you could use it if you had a blush. You could use it for that because it would be great for that. Um, maybe if you had a highlight, it would be perfect to put the highlight down. But I, like I said, I just use it to swipe away any um, fallout with my eyeshadows. Um, the next brush I have is the angled eyeliner brush. And basically, you just use this with a gel eyeliner. That's what the fine tip on that looks like. Um... It's just a really dense brush. You can really just go in there and put on your eyeliner. Um, I really wouldn't recommend this brush for a beginner, someone that's just starting out. I think the more advanced that you get with your makeup and the more confident you can you become, then you can really just go in there and just wipe your gel eyeshadow in and um, you can go with it from there. And the last brush I have is the small angle brush. Now I do like this brush for beginners, um, especially if you're going to be using that gel liner. This brush is a little wider, so you can probably have a little bit of better control of this brush. And I would just start in the middle of my eye and then work out, and then if you need to go back in, then you could do that. But I think this is the perfect brush for the beginner that's just starting out. Um, so. Basically, these are the brushes that I have from Eyes, Lips, Face, Elf. These are the ones I use every single day um, to do all my makeup applications. If not, I'm using my hands. Your hands are perfect brushes too. However, if you're into buying a brush set, I would definitely look into this. Another brush set that I did have the pleasure of seeking out is the crayon brush set. Now, this is the crayon. This is the five piece. I actually got this one off a of Halt Look. I will link that down below for you guys that are interested in this. Um, Halt Look is like one of them. They do flash sales. So you might catch it on sale one week. They might have it. Then the next week they might not. Um, it's just one of those sites that you have to be really fast acting and get in and get what you're looking for. But this is the eye kit. I'm really loving this big fluffy eye brush. I've been doing a lot of blending out with that. Um, it comes with, again with the li another liner brush here. It comes with an eyeshadow brush, a lip brush, and a pencil crease brush, which I think is a nice set. And I got this whole set for $8. So again, um, this is the crayon brush set. This is one of the most inexpensive sets, I think. So that's another place that you can go also, for Also, um, just another thing, if you have a Target nearby you, Sonia Ketchik actually has some really nice brushes. Um, this is not the most expensive one she has. This is, these are the white ones. Um, the more expensive ones that she has is actually um, the ones with the black handles on them. They're more a little more expensive, but I think you can get these brushes maybe for five dollars, and they're really nice brushes. These are basically pencil brushes. I have two of them. Um, as you can see, this one is a little more denser than this one right here. It has that little more of a pointed edge edge to it. So again, these are some really nice brushes. I really like using these. Again, um, I would use these to just highlight um, a little bit with those. I think they're wonderful brushes for that. Also, um, if you don't have some, you know, if you're just really looking for just a couple of brushes to add with your collection, e.l.f. also has um, brushes you might be able to find these brushes in Target. Not the set, but they will have the individual brushes and they are $3 a piece. And then there's also a um, brand that Target makes it's called the Up and Up brand. And these are actually pretty good brushes. Um, I have two smudge brushes here. These are both by that 
up and up brand that I'm talking about and they look like the elf brushes a little bit so again if you can't get your hands on those elf brushes the up and up brand brushes are actually pretty good um, and then this is another one that is just a crease brush by them but they're actually really nice brushes to use as well so hopefully guys this video is helpful for you in helping you go out there and find some brushes um, I honestly think that these the elf are the best brushes that you know I own even using the crayon which is a little more expensive I really like using these brushes and for the price, like I said, I pay $15. Eye Slips Face is always doing some type of promotion. So I think you will definitely get um, your money's worth when using these brushes. Because they are really good brushes. And if you need to replace them, of course, you can go to Target and do that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I will have some more videos going up in the week. As I said, I have a doctor's appointment. So, um... And I won't be able to get on camera for a little while. So um, I will be doing videos going up Monday, tomorrow. And then there will be a video Wednesday and a video Friday to keep you guys up to date. Um, so you don't feel like, you know, I cheated you out of your videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.